In today's video, I'm gonna be showing the most efficient way to make coins in NCAA 25 and some really good methods that can make you millions of coins. Before we get any further, make sure you do hit the subscribe button. We're currently at 6,052 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the year and that's pretty far off. So if you don't mind, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a ton. And let's go ahead and read our verse for the day. It's gonna be from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 4, not verse 4, verse 10 and 11, sorry. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as a good steward of the manifold grace of God. This is verse 11. It says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and get to the methods for the day. Starting off with 80 overalls. You can sell these things at 6,000 coins if you just want to go wide receiver, if you just want to go halfback, if you just want to go quarterback. You can sell these things at 6,000 coins. All you got to do, buy these up. Under 5,000, that's only going to be 400 coins. So really, that snipe right there made me about 420 coins after tax. If you want to make some pretty good coins, like, you know, after everything's said and done, you're probably going to want to buy at 5,500 and under. That's going to be 900 coins and up. And so really, like, if you want to buy it like 4,000, that's going to be 1,500 a snipe. 4,000 is going to leave you with plenty enough coins. You're going to make about thirty to 40,000 an hour if you're buying at that price and so forth and so on. Now, some of these do sell for a little bit more, um, you know, free safeties, a little bit more than others. Cornerbacks maybe sell for a little bit more. Not really. These 80s have become so very, very cheap. So you really don't have to worry about anything. But that is some of the things now 4900 that's not too bad you're not going to make too much coins but you're not going to make no, like you know it'll be a little bit so 80 to 80 ones is not too bad heading to 80 to 83 uh also 80 and 81 are basically the same price they don't really have much of a difference 82s though if you want to just buy 82s and sell for 14 that is very doable some of them are very cheap you can get these as low as like six seven thousand coins and they are viable at that price as well. I've saw a lot of these up at 9,000, 10,000, as you can see right here. We're going to be able to buy this for 11,000, sell at about 14, 15,000, and make around three to 4,000 coins profit just like that. It's very simple, and it's very, very consistent with these snipes you're going to see. As you can see, 14,700 is what they're getting posted up for pretty consistently. Uh, we could probably put it 15,000. After that, we're going to get about 13,500 after tax and make about 2,000 coins. So, you know, we're one of the cheapest ones up right here at 15.13, and it's going to make pretty good profit. Uh, moving just just position by position, you're going to see 12K right here. You could buy for 12, make about 1,500 if you post at 15. If you post at 15 and sell, you're going to get 35 or 13, five out of it and make some pretty good profit as well. Now, 83s are a little bit different. 83s are a little bit more expensive. Depending on the program, they kind of alternate uh, prices. They kind of fluctuate a lot. So if you want to head over to Legend, that's going to where you're, you're going to find your cheapest 83s from there. You can also look at Ultimate Alumni. In case you missed, it's decent, but it's not too good, honestly. Uh, best is going to be Legend, uh, specifically because it came out yesterday. So you're going to see a lot on this filter. Now, you are going to have to go position by position because there's so many getting posted that um, it, it, you're just never going to see the newest if you don't. If you do want the best way to filter down, you can join the Patreon along with some other daily methods in the Patreon, but that is completely up to you. 83s here, uh, they don't have all the same prices. I'll just be completely honest with you. Some prices are a little bit different than others, and it kind of varies depending on the card. Um, some people like the 83s and think they're pretty good. Some of these 83s are budget beast, and a lot of people want to pick them up because they are pretty good for their overall. So, you know, just flipping through, going through, considering uh, a few of them, they're not too bad. 82s and 83s, though, is probably one of the better methods that you all can be doing now. There is some pretty good methods in the Patreon as well that I posted today. I'm not going to sit and shove that down your throat. Anyway, uh, selling, like, just 82s, though, is really good. Uh, also, 83s, if we just want to look at 83 base, you know, 83, we scroll down. Where's our first 83? It's going to be at about 15.2. So, I mean, it's not much different than 82s, but some of the programs are, some of the cards are. If we go to left tackle... They may be a little bit more expensive when you're getting up to that 83, maybe 20,000 coins. So just make sure you know your market when you are buying and selling them. Now, in terms of just rare B and D, not B and D, rare uh, blue elite cards, you could go to 84, 95 and look at those. But honestly, it's got to a point where it's been oversaturated, and a lot of those 84s and 85s are really easy to pull at this point. So it makes it kind of useless. Um, if you do want to buy 84s under 20,000 coins, you can sell them back at 23 and make some pretty good profit. 
but you're not going to find them often. If you do, it's going to be some pretty good profit, but it doesn't really matter. You can look at the cornerbacks. They are a little bit more expensive. Some of these are still pretty expensive because they're pretty good cards in the game. Free safety as well. Uh, maybe even strong safety, probably strong safety as well. There's not many strong safeties. And uh, defensive tackle. Uh, all, all the linemen are pretty expensive. Maybe defensive tackle. It just depends, honestly. Uh, 29000 No, not really. If you go to center, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. So those are the methods I would persuade you doing. Uh, you can still high market flip, low market flip, 80 mass buys, 82, 83 black and white selling. Boys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you boys in the next one.